but turn how to play off, it doesn't really matter. So I could make sure to start the timer when I hit start. This is not actually a live play, I recorded this off stream because I just wanted to... I made this recording just to see, uh, uh, just to see, like, how it would go. And it went better than I expected. Okay, I, was a, I think I was a little late on the start there. So, of course, as with, uh, as is always the case with the Super Spy, it's really important to, to know the route. I don't know how many continues I use total. Maybe I should keep track. But yeah, I was I was really surprised that uh, that somebody on on YouTube and I guess speedrun.com had like actually made a category for this. The time was like uh, 59 minutes, I think. So I gave it a shot with what I what I know about the Super Spy and. I think I got like 43 minutes. Oh, that's some bad luck. Getting the uh, getting the Gandhi early on. So there's gonna be a lot of like taking hits on purpose just to like get more get more pistol ammo. Which I should have. Uh, I didn't go for the machine gun in the first floor. I probably should have done that. You know, it takes a little bit of time to go into the door and pick up the machine gun, but it actually. It kind of saves you time in the long run. So I was gonna see if these guys were uh, were the enemies that uh, that do the thing where they attack you a couple times and then just leave, but they didn't. But like I said, I took a death there just to get more get more ammo, get more get the get a fresh knife. I feel like the run that was on YouTube didn't really make use of the knife that much at all. It was just using pistol ammo. And ultimately, like on the uh, on the later stages, because the whole thing with the uh, the way your weapons do damage in this game, on the first few floors, you can you can one shot everybody except the uh, the mini bosses with the gun. These guys just still will stab you and leave, so I'm just I just let them do that and run off. So you can take everybody out with one pistol shot. But when you get later in the game, they start taking they start taking more and more shots. So the pistol isn't that useful, but the the knife actually scales with you. And that's why having a well, having a fresh knife is really important. So you still have to you still have to take deaths just to just to get the fresh stuff. Burr, burr. Like right here, I'll, I'll I'll get shot by this guy just to just to lower my health so it doesn't take as long for uh, the next <laughs> the next credit. Oh, that was really fast. Again, I, I skipped the machine gun on this floor. I probably should have taken it. It would have it would have sped things up a little bit. So I mean this this run is still not completely optimized, I guess you could say. It's still there's still a lot of room for improvement, I think. Not that a uh, a credit feed speed run is quite as Quite as good as a one credit speed run, but I haven't really done a one credit speed run. Yeah, like these guys. Just let them stab, kick, leave. Take damage on purpose just to get to get some fresh stuff. Yeah, it did feel really weird. Not having to like worry about about health. <laughs> Having to take hits on purpose just to speed things up. It's really weird. But then again, the wild thing is, when 
playing in this manner, like, as long as you know where to go, game is still only, like, 43 minutes. Which is... I mean, you mention this game, like, everybody... Like, the first thing people think is, like, oh, that game was so long. It's, it's really not if you play in this manner. Like, 43 minutes is not that bad in the grand scheme of things. Compared to, like, some of the other things. Like, a... A full score run of, uh, of Shock Troopers for me is, like, 45 minutes. Granted, there's, there's more interesting things going on in Shock Troopers, but... Fuck, I was doing all those Total Carnage runs, and that's, like, 70 minutes. Also, I always use those barrels for the the extra explosion damage. Yeah, that's why I wrote any percent speedrun replay at the top of the screen. I do have it available as a meme replay if anybody wants to see the file. It's like, once you're out of ammo and you don't have a, a fresh knife, just just start taking damage. That's another thing that would be really... is really bad for speedruns if you get those random mid-bosses. Yeah, these are speedrun.com strats. I probably could have just like taken that and reset my uh my ammo. Wouldn't have hurt. What's the other problem with speedrunning this is that you end up skipping all the English. Don't get to go to the disk drive room or anything like that. There's the boss room. Oh man, the rare knee hit. So I'm trying to maximize damage by hitting, like, both of them with one shot. Doesn't always work, though. Oh, the dick grab. Oh, I actually killed them with one clip. Anytime I see the knife guys, I just let them do damage and then leave. Oh, I missed the fucking... I missed the sweet spot that you need to, to walk up the corridor. That's a big time loss right there. That's like a 10 second loss. There were at least like two or three times I did that. I fucked up trying to, trying to walk down the corridor since you have to be so fucking exact on it. Hate that shit. So it only takes nine min minutes to get through building one. That's not too bad. Yeah, this is an unsuper play.
Oh, forgot where the... I don't want those, uh, those white ninjas to show up. Dun -dun 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 -dun. But I feel like when I got to the later stages, the later floors, I felt like I was doing less less suiciding just because getting a fresh uh, fresh set of pistol ammo doesn't really help as much at that point. These guys, the guys that, uh, nope. I was hoping that would, guy would just, like, do the stab, high kick. Nope. In which case, it would try to get away. <laughs> there, I'm just trying to take hits as fast as possible, just to... Just to die. Because if you actually want to just, like, take hits as fast as possible, going for the... The hook punch is, is actually good for that. Because they always try to counter the hook punch. They will get hit by it sometimes, but... I went in here for the machine gun ammo. If I did this again, I would go for the machine gun ammo on the first two floors. But I don't know if I'm going to have to... I don't know if anybody's going to beat this. Possibilities there. There we... Oh, no. I thought that guy was going to try to escape. I see a guy with a gun, it's like, yes. Okay. That was not optimal, but that's alright. I'm pretty sure I used pistol on Nick, yeah. I don't remember how that how that run went. I think I like I, I died right before him so I could get like a a fresh set of pistol ammo. Well, I think it's it's still possible to get like a uh, a four hit point clear on with the machine gun. It's just really difficult. I don't think it's it's possible to do faster than losing four hit points. Which is oh, I missed the quarter there. Which is possible with the uh, the pistol, but I don't think I got it. He might have jumped off the screen once just to waste time. I don't remember. But yeah, in a regular one credit run, you'd never you'd never have the pistol up to that point. You'd want to be keeping all your ammo, your machine gun ammo. Just for that. It, it is possible with the machine gun to to get a four hit point clear, but it's very difficult. Do 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 do. Oh, I didn't get the bonus damage. Okay. I always check to make sure if those guys are gonna, like, just escape. 
They go stab, kick, high kick. Then they'll just leave. Which is the faster way to do it. Taking hits on purpose. That guy kind of took a while. Of course, he's got, these knife guys will always just run off if you let them, so I always just kind of let them stab me, get my life down a little bit so it takes less time for the next, for the next credit. I actually wanted to get shot by that guy, but... Oh yeah, that's another another trick with this game. Sometimes if you... Uh, if you're using the pistol, if you hit enemies with like, on like the... Uh, the left or right edge, it won't knock them back, it just kinda like stuns them for a second. That's actually faster, because it doesn't knock them down. So you can kinda, you can kinda get more hits like that. I think I've tried to do that on bosses, but... I didn't want to spawn that guy. Sometimes when the door opens, one of those guys are, is going to come out, and I did not want that to happen. <laughs> I put Gandhi in a, in a weird state where he was just... slowly shuffling back and forth and wouldn't hit me. If I could get that to happen more often in the on an actual one credit run, that'd be great. So I guess this is around the point where for a lot of enemies I started doing knife knife knee knife knife knee so as not to knock them back. Now I kind of... I need more pistol ammo. That guy didn't move all the way back. He didn't get hit by the... the vending machine explosion. That was kind of bullshit. Sometimes they just stop like that. Like he stopped and was in a range where he couldn't actually hit me. But he didn't attack anyway. Shot that guy. Just take the stabs. Take it slowly. And it's like, oh, I'm, I'm low on health. I might as well start using my pistol ammo. Bucket. Ah, those are the guys that try to get away. <laughs> One kick and then he's gone. Oh yeah, this is the the sixth floor. These lavender guys are like some of the easiest enemies in the game. They have way less health than every other enemy on this floor. Which is pretty nice. It's only on this floor, too. Might as well just take the hit. I 
guess that is faster. Alright, so it's Nick time. Ah, he jumped off the screen. What a bitch. Okay, five hit point clear. That's pretty standard for machine gun, except I was using pistol. Yeah, fire extinguisher, Nick. Oh, that intro is so good. Yeah, this game's kind of like Zybots. I've never... Nobody really makes that comparison to this game. I mean, you had more... More freedom of movement in Zybot, so... You're not locked in these vertical corridors. I did not want to knock that guy down. I'm trying to get this guy to counter me. So it will actually hit me. And yeah, this is the stage with the uh, the hot dog terrorists. I really wanted pistol ammo there just because when there's three guys there, it's helpful if you can shoot at least two or three. Instead of having to fight them one at a time. I can't believe that guy wasn't dead. This floor has a boss too. Probably didn't need to die that early, but... Oh yeah, coffee machine. Uh. Satisfying one-shot kill. Wasting time when he can't hit me and I can't move to the left or right. The boss is at the end of this hallway. See how many shots you guys are they're taking like five or six shots just to just to kill them. Because the uh, the pistol damage doesn't scale up with your level. The pistol damage is shit by the end of the game. Oh man. The king cosplayer.
I like how he kicks three times, but it only hits once. Stupid. Then you get a break. Floor 8 is like nothing. Easiest floor in the game. Floor 9 is just one single hallway. give you like three quick floors in a row just to make you feel a little bit better. And then floor 11 is a boss floor. It's kind of short, but... After the first encounter, there's a very high chance to get uh, mid bosses after that. After that, for every single encounter, not guaranteed, but it's a very high chance. Actually, I think you always get a muscle guy second. Oh, I got him in the. See how he's moving really slow? He doesn't. He won't counter as long as you keep hitting him. That happens sometimes with the mid-bosses. Oh, that's some good luck. That was a, an, an encounter that's not a mid-boss. And then I get the double. I gotta get ammo back for the boss. Actually, I just wasted all here, I guess. <laughs> Dick grab. Death by dick grab. Boss is actually really dangerous. Like, you don't want him to do anything. You gotta just shoot him, keep him in the hook punch loop. If you're playing on one credit, because he's got the dick grab. He, got, he can also actually use his machine gun, which is like instant damage. He's actually one of the scariest bosses. Well, this guy's gonna escape. But I actually want to kill him because he gives 600 experience. Which is more than any other enemy in the game. For some reason, this one vertical corridor gives you more experience than anything else. Like, even on the last floor, enemies only give you, like, 500 experience. I don't know why they give 600 there. It's always perplexed me. Oh, 
All these mid-boss encounters. Stage 14 is another boss floor. It's also the longest floor in the game. They literally start you in one corner and make you go to the other. Actually, no, I guess that's not true. They make you go... They, you start in the bottom right and you eventually end up in the top right, so... Could be longer. Actually, I guess the way they... They path it. It is. It does make it take the longest amount of time. Never mind. Couldn't get that guy to leave. I can't reach the... It won't let me walk forward to get the, the coffee machine. That's annoying. Level up. Why is that guy not dead? <laughs> this is such a... <laughs> this is a game that practically begs for just, like, a credit-feeding category, just because of how quickly you can get back in. Like, you can just start mashing on the start button if it's on free play. It'll just restart, like, immediately. The continue screen is so fast. Okay, the boss. It's a geese. Oh man, I got him in the pattern. I gotta figure out how to do that more consistently. When they when they do that slow walk back and forth, they're not gonna they're not gonna counter as long as you do knife knife stab knife knife stab. I gotta figure out how to make that happen more consistently. For one credit purposes, I mean. Knockdown on the other guy. I don't even know how that would work. Starting to get into the groove of doing the knife, knife, stab, knife, knife, stab. I should have just taken the hit there. What am I doing? Alright, floor 15. The 
best floor. Oh, he's not going to do the... He wasn't going to escape. I thought he would, like the other guys. That guy did. Sometimes one of them will just not jump off. But you're... You can never really be sure until you try. Kind of annoying when that happens. Yeah, jeez. It's like nine or ten shots just to, to kill one guy. Pistol has really fallen off at this point. Did I die before I, uh... I must have died before I went in, I think. my knife. Alright, here she is. It's just shooting the shit out of pink. Oh, man. Had to take a high kick, though. Oh, and then I got her caught in the pattern, too. I should have taken the death on pink. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh well. So, only one more floor, one more boss. game for getting out some aggression. It's just... It's kind of... It kind of confines you to, uh... Just being stuck on rails. Not able to walk more than a few steps before you have to fight somebody again. Let those guys leave. But that guy didn't want to leave. What the fuck? These things always trip me up. I couldn't get in the door. Alright, final floor. Everybody's gold. You know you're in serious shit. Pistol ammo does, like, no damage on anybody. But vending machine explosions do. I missed the corridor. That sucks. And I couldn't go back to the vending machine to blow it up again. The respawning vending machine. That sucks. 
You have to be so, so fucking accurate about pushing up to, to walk up. It just disappears on the radar really fast. I've always hated that. Enemies are still taking 10 hits because I haven't leveled up yet. I think once you get to 50,000 experience, enemies start taking 8 hits on this floor. Almost there. Zap. I guess that's the price you pay for, for skipping some enemies. You miss out on just enough experience to make some of the later enemies die faster. Oh god, the, the red, white, and blue muscle man. That color palette's only on this floor. I think. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, I wish they tried more things like this with the, uh... The, uh, the Neo Geo. Like, they were just trying to experiment, make some more games that were tailored more for the home market. But, I mean, it's kind of... It's kind of tough to make a game that's... Uh, appealing for both arcade and home play. And they didn't, they didn't quite do it with this, but... They tried. God bless them, they tried. I mean, he also wound up with shit like Riding Hero in its shitty RPG mode. They were just trying all sorts of shit. Who knows what would have happened with the Neo Geo if, uh, if Street Fighter 2 had never come out. So close to the president's room. Government dogs. Alright, final boss. That's a unique music track. The invincible jump kick. God lord, he does a lot of damage. Okay, I don't know when to stop the timer. I guess when... yeah. When it goes to black, I guess. Close enough. So, I mean, as much as has been said about how how long and repetitive this game is, 43 minutes isn't, like, the worst in the world. When you know what you're doing, you can actually get through it uh, under an hour. There are arcade games that are longer than this. But then again, this was a, a special... Uh, a special instance of just continuing like crazy. <laughs> Not trying to play the game skillfully with one credit.
Uh, Kadash is under an hour. I, I think it's like 45 minutes or so. But I mean, Total Carnage is like 70 minutes. Smash TV is about that long, too. 